In news out of the South Valley, a special reunion for three naval aviators. One shot down over the Gulf of Tonkin and held captive in Vietnam for more than eight years. The three men, Captain John Nicholson, Commander Everett Alvarez, and Commander Ron Bach, reunited at NAS Lemoore to commemorate the 55th anniversary of the Gulf of Tonkin incident. CBS 47's Megan Roof joins us live with their Megan. Ken, Catherine, incredibly special moments for everyone who got to hear these three men share their stories. Alvarez's story, one of survival, and it's a spirit he says started right here at Naval Air Station Lemoore. A story of captivity told by Commander Everett Alvarez after his aircraft was shot August 4th, 1964. I came around, they were, uh, there was a lot more anti-aircraft than we knew existed there. And the whole sky opened up with uh, black flat and tracers coming at me. Reuniting Tuesday with Captain John Nicholson and Commander Ron Bach, 55 years ago stationed together here at NAS Lemoore. Do you, do you remember? Yeah, the three of us were going up to man aircraft that night. On deployment before a flight over the Gulf of Tonkin, the captain and his wingmen snapping this photo. The next day, Commander Everett Alvarez would be shot down over the Gulf. He was forced to eject sideways. Nicholson's last words, you know what to do. I was, trouble. I was trying to get up so I could eject. And I was very lucky. I was very lucky because if I stuck with it another two seconds, I would I would have hit the ground. Alvarez held captive more than eight years in Vietnam Tuesday, sharing how he'd distract the guards, talking about things like potato chips or popcorn, words they'd never heard of. His faith bringing him through. Believing in, in, in your God and having a sense of honor, you know, it, it's what makes a person their character. And Alvarez also wrote a book about his experience. It's called The Chained Eagle. He wrote that in the late 80s. All of the men today also received a state assembly resolution from Assemblyman Rudy Salas. Reporting live in Lemoore tonight, Megan Roop, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.